we just talk and we just create and we laugh and we eat at my house. Yeah. <laughs> but you also tackle tough subjects, right? You, the Western, you know, we don't see ourselves. We don't see ourselves. The funny thing about that, sorry, cut you off, but that's a great question. The funny thing about that is the fact that we view them as tough subjects. Mm. Let's talk about us being in the Western. We were absolutely there. I believe the term cowboy was created as a slur to black people. Mm -hmm. I think that's where the term comes from. From yeah. my research and my history, this term comes from, it was a slur. And obviously like most things, you know, we made it look so good. It was like, <laughs> get that back. <laughs> Run it back. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's just like, it's just representation. We're just telling a proper story. When we told the story of How Did They Fall, it was a fictional story, but it's real. It's blasphemous. How so? You don't even know. You don't know anything outside of your own religion until you explore. And once you explore, then you say, okay, these set of things you know, resonate with me. And this is what I believe in. And then when I have the conversation with the next person, we test those beliefs. Test those beliefs. Exactly. It's almost mm -hmm. like you can't even have the conversation without, yeah. you know, yeah. um, without you know, sparking and everyone. And it, and, it, and, and it, it's a it's a real thing. You you're giving this this religion because you know we we suffer so much, especially being in our in our being black and Western civilization. We suffer so much. Our parents go through so much, and the only thing they have is the Bible, right? So they teach us these stories, and we believe them as kids. But you get to a certain age where you question, Mommy, so you're saying Jonah was alive for 40 days in the, in the whale's mouth. Then, yeah, but not all the stories, but they've written as literal stories, Mom. Then you need to go through something where life, prove, life has to prove to me that this is, is real, that this is factual, not, that life has to prove to me where, where this is no longer belief, it's knowledge, right? And, and Clarence, you know, and he, he goes through that, but then, it's, and in the end, it is, in his story, things work out your your routine or your pathway to cre create different things. You have to be disciplined as well because you can get distracted so easy. I don't love the sun, right? I don't love the sun because I knew that when we lived on the when we were on the I don't um, experience writer's block because writer's block was luxury. We couldn't afford. We were writers on the block. <laughs> and when we were, and when we, Bars again. And, we, and when we were on the block, right? The only way out. Was either one. You're going to the pen, or you have to go to the pen. Mm, mm. You know those ones? It's too many bars. <laughs> so, when, when, so when the sun shines, I just used to find myself wasting time. You'd be on the on the on the wall and with your friends and girls and this and that and the other. Like, there's rain. It's just so beautiful to me because it just means creativity and I'll get stuff done. And I'll get myself out of the hood and. I've always loved the rain more than the sun.